There are a lot of variables that go into basketball, whether or not we're talking individual success or in today's case, really team success, right? So many things, depending on how they turn out, can make or break a season, a stretch of games, whatever the case may be. And in this case, frankly, we are talking about a stretch of games because we're going to, you know, be looking at the X factors for the remaining stretch of the season for the Toronto Raptors. Now, just for an example, I guess, of what I don't consider an X factor, like, you know, something like Pascal Siakam's play, like, I don't, I wouldn't really call it an X factor because for the most part, you know, yes, he can have some off nights or whatever. So in that case, there is a little bit of unpredictability, but for the most part, he's a consistent producer. You know where you're going to get out of Pascal. So in that sense, he's absolutely not an X factor. Something that's an X factor is just a more uncontrolled variant with a less determined outcome to what you're going to get. And with that being said, you, you got a good idea of what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> uh, but before I fully hop into these things, excuse me, just make sure if you're new here, subscribe to the channel if you like the content that you see. So close to 1K at this point, I think it's like 190 away, so I really appreciate it. And then past that, obviously, if you like the content, drop that like, make it known. It only takes like half a second. It makes such a big difference to me. So thank you. Without further ado, let's hop in. So the first one here and the inspiration frankly, for this video, is going to be Malachi Flynn. I think Malachi Flynn is a big X factor for the Raptors going down the stretch. I think a lot of people at the start of the season had high hopes for Malachi and what he could be, you know, coming off the bench for this team. And obviously, we haven't really gotten that this season. He's rode the pine a lot. Um, he's been in Nick Nurse's doghouse, which if you go back to my season preview video, actually, I don't think it was the season preview. I believe it was the ranking the most important Raptors video. Uh, I was talking about how, for whatever reason, I just had a like, gut feeling that Malachi Flynn is somebody that is a prime candidate for Nick's doghouse, and he has absolutely been there. Uh, however, Obviously, with Fred Van Vliet's injuries and, you know, a couple other injuries to the rosters, namely OG, Malachi got his shot for at least a couple of games, and he looked, he looked good. He looked really good. I mean, obviously, the guy's playing with the starters, so his minutes match a little bit more of the more talented people on this roster. But even still, Malachi came out, shot impressive from the field, looked just good, comfortable, and it shows how much, say, a vote of confidence can really make a difference for a young player like that. And if if you've maybe kind of discovered something with Malachi here, if he can keep up this play, you know, he can absolutely be one of the biggest X factors for the team, right? I don't think it's any secret that bench scoring has not been great for the Raptors at all <laughs> this season so having somebody like malachi if you can keep him in rhythm if you can keep the spark of what you've seen here going having somebody like that that can play make obviously off the bench that can score and get his own shot off the bench you know it, it'll go a long way it'll absolutely go a long way for the raptors uh it's very tough to say if you know malachi gets these kind of minutes once fred van vliet is back which again it hence X Factor, <laughs> um, or what kind of minutes he realistically is going to get when Fred is back. But when he's looked as good as he has in the past two games, and I know it's a small sample size, and I know that it's a sample size coming against a Brooklyn Nets team that was missing most of its key <laughs> members, being obviously KD, Kyrie, even Ben Simmons now that he's there. I get that. I do. But at the same time, it's hard to deny what you saw there. And if you think he can build upon this, or even if you just want to give him a chance to prove that he can build upon this, it just adds another valuable player that can come off your bench and that can help alleviate minutes from the starters. So something worth pursuing. And that definitely, in my mind, makes Malachi one of the biggest X factors heading down the stretch for the Raptors. The next one is probably the biggest gimme and still the biggest talking point, help. So the health of this team is realistically speaking, probably the biggest X factor going down the stretch and probably has been the biggest X factor to this team all season long, even now. 
I mean, even as I say this, and again, like this was kind of what inspired this in my head uh, as far as bringing this up as an X Factor. OG is obviously gone for a unknown stretch of time, um, or at least a relatively unknown stretch of time. You got Fred currently out of the lineup with his injury. You've had Pascal Siakam out of the lineup early on as he was recovering. You've had Scotty Barnes coming in and out of the lineup with, um, I believe it was his thumb or his hand. I don't 100% remember the details there. Ken Birch even has been injured. Just there, there's a lot of injuries. <laughs> there's absolutely been a lot of injuries. And I bring it up because obviously at full strength, I don't think whatsoever that it's a stretch to say Toronto would be a tough out for any team. Any team come playoff time. Like, fully healthy, this team can really do damage. Um, I'm not talking like NBA champion, you know, levels of damage by any means. But at the same time, I'm also not undervaluing the fact that they could give anybody in the East a series with how good they are when they're fully healthy. But that's the thing when they're fully healthy and for the most part outside of you know a few stretches where everything was kind of going the Raptors way they haven't really been fully healthy a lot so I don't think it needs a further explanation as to that like the health is absolutely the biggest x factor for the Raptors because if you have all your guys you're you know, you know, you you have a chance to be a team that's in the second round. Who knows if everything absolutely goes your way? Maybe you even make like the Eastern Conference Finals. But if you have guys constantly slipping out of the lineup and just sitting on the bench, sitting there in their, you know, nice jackets as opposed to being out there on the court, yeah, you're probably a first round exit. So, help. It's the big one. It's the biggest one when it comes to the X factors. The last one here is kind of a combination and I've already kind of alluded to it. So bench scoring slash Nick Nurse's rotations. So uh, cards on the table. Nick Nurse is a very good NBA head coach and far be it for me, a fan, to question the work of a NBA level head coach uh, when it comes to his rotations. So as if I know better because I mean, yeah, I don't. He's got that job for a reason. Um, that being said, there's been at least a couple of times where you just look at his rotations and, you know, the certain minutes that players are getting or maybe even the over-reliance on the starters if you want to talk about it. And it's just been a little... Eh? <laughs> um, like, when it comes to Nurse, there's it's the lack of trust, I think, in his bench. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's like... Trust is something that needs to be earned, you know, playtime needs to be earned, respect needs to be earned. But there's at least times where it feels like maybe Nick Nurse isn't giving those guys enough of a chance. And especially now, it's like when you talk about the previous things, you know, with Malachi and with the health, um, in particular, more so the health thing, where if you have guys coming in and out of the lineup, now is the time to experiment, uh, in my opinion, at the least. Now is the time to see if you can get, say, something out of Malachi, or say, give somebody maybe a chance to shine that you wouldn't have thought could be a good role player for you before. And who knows, sometimes guys do come out of nowhere, or sometimes guys show you something that they haven't seen before. You know, a lot of times, if a, if a guy is riding fine for a while, like he is chomping at the bit for that opportunity, and if he, he shows you something in that opportunity, then he can become a regular fixture on the team. Or even give a little more faith, say, to somebody like Precious Achua that obviously you have a lot of hope for. If Precious shows you enough that he can get you know, bigger minutes, great. That's gonna save, you know, five minutes of wear and tear, for example, maybe off of somebody like Scotty Barnes or Pascal Siakam or whoever the case really is there. But just, I guess, giving the bench a chance to shine with rotational minutes down the stretch here, I guess, is one of the X factors. I think that's kind of what I'm trying to allude to here. Uh, I don't know if I've explained it as well as I and thinking it in my head, but I'm doing my best here, I promise. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like that is absolutely just something that the Raptors, you know, will 
go one way or the other on hence again x factor as the season kind of unwinds for them so that pretty much does it for me what do you folks think is there a major x factor down the stretch for the raptors that you think i missed obviously if i have you know what to do comment section drop it drop it like it's hot <laughs> uh but yeah again just to reiterate what i said at the start of the video if you're new here subscribe to the channel very close to 1k at this point it feels that way at least so every added member to the community feels great and yeah uh welcome if if you're hitting that subscribe button uh pass that like the video takes half a second and puts a smile on my face puts the video out there more people and just it makes a difference it really does and you know you know quite reasonably uh terrible times like these <laughs> Um, won't jump too much into it because I'll start a whole rant and none of you want to hear that unless it's basketball related, but in terrible times like these, any small little lift goes a massive way, I guess. <laughs> so, do that, <laughs> please. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do it for me here today. It's been JJ Buckets, it's been a pleasure, and I will see everybody next time.